Pleasure. Right back into it. So, thank you for joining me once again. This is David of Creelfolk. Last episode, we made quite a bit of progress and died, unfortunately, a number of times. And we're now in the middle of a mission where we have to kill this fucking sap. And we'll fucking absolutely end his career now. As soon as I run everyone into the thing. Last time I bloodied you was he seems to know here. me. Well, this seems as good a place as any to end you good and proper. Come on. Let's right. give the crowd a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Shut up. I don't fucking... I don't understand where he knows me from. No. Yes. I don't think it did. No. He's just gonna he's just gonna really have a bad I'm gonna have a bad time. I'm gonna have a bad time. I need to get some I need to get some healing on the go. Um a couple of these dogs wouldn't be a bad idea. Anyone around me, please. I need fucking health. Maybe there's some rats in here. No? Oh god. I got an idea. I get this thing out and then why did that dive there no yeah got you good dog nice that ought to help because now my health is gonna be a bit replenished from that dog nice <laughs> oh wow i'm gonna bite you get off my dog I know it's not a dog, but whenever it's like a thing... Well, I mean, it kind of looks like a dog, like a bit of a, like a fucking really inbred wolf. You know what I mean? Whenever it has games and things like this, I always tend to call them dogs. Like in Nazi zombies. Kind of how I always kind of describe them. We just got completely ended. Yes, I'm riding a caragol. Caribou. My caribou. Fuck. Um, um, uh, gonna, yep. I'm going to do my cool slide and then... Bongo, bongo, bongo. No. Eh. Oh, I fucked that up. No. No. Keep rolling. It's going to be okay. Ah! Right. Now I do my cool thing. I don't have any elf shot. Fuck. Game, you messing with me. Now this time for real. Yes, and it's not the right shot. Fuck, this is awkward as fuck. Right, okay. Now I do my roll and slide and then, eh, that worked. That was good enough. Got everyone except him. I'll take that. I only wanted to fucking clear a path. Yes. I think so. Nope. Yes. Shot you in the eye. <laughs> Fuck. That was hard work. Are oh, you going to fucking still fight me? I was going to counter that then, but okay. Nice. Ooh, gob that up. I have upheld my end of the bargain. And your champion has upheld his. For fighting this pitiful enemy. The Dark Lord promised mercy! Gaze now upon the Bright Lord! I make no such offer! Ooh. Run! Run! Run to your master and give him this message! I come for him! Ooh, fuck. Well, I ain't fucking around anymore, am I? I don't know if I got more powerful or anything, but certainly kicking off. I need to go back in there and get that equipment that I fucking just left behind. Yeah, let's give me all the goodies. Danke. Nice. Well, we fucking did that. 
All that matters is the Palantir. It cannot fall into the Witch King's hands. Oh, there it is. There's that gear. I don't want to lose that. It's a pretty cool coat. Nice. Cool. So, we uh, fucking scared the orcs off, which is great. They're probably going to still come back, but the fact that they're scared is a good thing. You'd think it's a pretty hardcore thing to to scare an orc. They tend to become like these fearless, crazy things. So you gotta be pretty fucking evil to, to scare them. Yep, it's a pipe. Yay! Now all I need is some pipe weed. Which you won't find for leagues in any direction. Leagues. Hmm. Nope. I thought that was a thing, but it's not. It's not a thing. It's a bed of arrows on the floor. I did that wrong. Okay, someone's having some fun. Launching some fire into the enemy. I think I can get across here. Yeah. It's gonna burn me. I think it's gonna. It might burn me. No, nope, don't look like it is. Fair enough. Hey, guys. Ooh. Tell you where there isn't any. Right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh fuck, I really wish I could grip them and chuck them off. Ooh, that's an idea. I could probably slide them off. Okay. Oh, so almost. Almost. No, 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 no. Oh fuck. I can do this. I can I reckon I can do that. Right, okay. So, three, two, one. Okay, good. And I'll go back, and then when he gets up, and then again. Oh, not again. Oh, you can do this, die. You can make the fucking soldier fall off the edge. If you weren't such a piss. Oh, he stood there ages, too. It's actually quite tricky to fucking do that. Okay, right, and now we're in again. Why didn't I do it that time? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> can they? Wait, can I? I can do it to the women, right? Oh, can I just do it to the blokes? Is it going to be like that? One second. Okay. <laughs> Got him. What about you? Oh, I thought my aim would have just improved a tad. You can't deck the women. What the fuck, like? So you can deck the blokes, no problem. Can't deck the women. Oh, that's not good. Before dawn. Yep, yeah, do your mission. So I think this is the one where I gotta save the king. That's the king's daughter. Fair enough. That can be done. My father's being held in the war chief's camp, but we were spotted before we could attempt to rescue. Baronor wants to wait till daybreak, hit them with a small company. But you want to go back now, alone. That is the way to suicide. You got two swords. If I wait till dawn, my father will be dead. There was one a dagger and the other one's a sword, I think. Go. I'm saying don't go alone. Yeah, one's a dagger, the other one's a sword. Cool. Kind of reminded me of the Witcher, actually, when I just saw it. So that's not too bad. That game's actually really good too. I should do an episode on that, but um, I mean, it's fucking huge. <laughs> this game's big, but I wouldn't want to do Witcher. Half man, 
half ray, a demon. And what do you believe? I believe we'd be lucky to have him. <laughs> a very thick there boy creeping around the room. <laughs> they took my father to a nearby encampment. <laughs> mm. Anyway, time to save the king. Nice. What the fuck? Why didn't she kill him? Oh my god, she's gonna get me fucking killed now. What a plum. Very distracted, then, wasn't he? But it's not We must move carefully. Oh fuck. Jokes off camera. <laughs> nice. So take some of that and then get this guy. Wow, she checked him in the fire. Thank you. We thought ourselves dead. A good blade. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Gotta stab you and slice your throat. That's how we do it. I really wish I could actually aim my leg sweep properly. <laughs> I would kill so many more orcs that way. Just cut him out. Nice. They'll probably ignore me if I keep doing this. Dark Nabbit, stop. Slicey throat. I should start assassinating them by chucking them off edges by a bit more. That's now becoming interesting. All right. Oof. It's got to keep on chucking. We must leave this foul place. You've not seen me. You've not seen me. Well, apparently you saw me. For all that's worth. <laughs> sure did. I'm cutting. Yay. Thank you. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> I love these assassins. Oh my fucking god! Just went straight through him to take him out. There was no fucking around with that one. Oh, took that, didn't you? Nicely done. Didn't take this though, did you? Ooh, fucking snap! That shit goes through me. There we are. I love assassinating the orcs. Aww. I wish there was some kind of like inbuilt way of like blocking those arrows. Because I, I seem to find the only real way of doing it is just to dodge them. Which isn't ideal. I'd like a way to like with a button prompt it normally has dodge or attack or stun and all that kind of stuff, but uh, the arrows they just seem to be like just move kind of thing. Which is fine, you can't always deflect an arrow. You can. I mean, the character can, but you can't do it all the time. Quite the some mad skill. Head back to Minisito. The ranger and I will find the gem. And then I gotta just kill this guy. We need to clear the camp before we go to Customia. Quickly then. That was not a good shot, die. I fucking fucked that up. Right, okay. Now I just gotta use. I'm gonna cut it up good. Hello, love. Dude, just take your brain. It's gonna be a good time. Fucking hell! I fucking popped all disease all over my face. Sound. Anywhere, 
Nice. Oh, I get you. Oh. Looks like he kind of escaped by himself. I not to come here. I came for you. This is not what I wanted. For you, not for any of us. There are things we don't get to choose. But we can still fight. Nice. You are your mother's daughter. Come. The reinforcements will be arriving soon. So we head back to the capital, I think everything will be hunky-dory. Quickly, before more arrive. Father, we... Quickly! The Dark Lord will... Father, their numbers have swelled. They are preparing for a final push. More will come. Get them. Very good. Oh, look at us, like a family. Like an assassin family. Nice. Oh, fuck me. Could have swore I told him to do that one, but oh well. Assassinate there and there. While I do my own little sneakity sneak. Ooh, they're kicking ass. Then you and you. Fucking hell, we are kicking it. No. Oh god, get him. Well, I'll do. Nice. Just whack the fuck out of him on the floor. Perfection. A very, very, very raw form of perfection. Great. Got back home. I'm down with that. Oh, well, we saved the king. That's good. Now, I'm just trying to remember when Shiloh gives you back the ring. I know it's like part of Act 2 or whatever. And that's where the game really starts to kick off. In my opinion, this is all kind of like prelog. One hell of prelog. General, seeing stone. I can use it. Lantier, it's safe where it is. The armies of Gondor will come soon. They're safe. Good. Come. We've been waiting for Gonda for weeks. No one has come. Can you really use the stone to defeat them? Yes. Then I will find where it's hidden. Making a lot of fucking points in XP. We must return to Shilob. She can show us the location of the Palantir. The Palantir is here. The war is here. We must weaken Sauron's hold on Minas Ethel. Now, let's have a little think a second. So, Sheila wants to deliver her final vision. Hmm. How do we want to go about it, essentially, is the question. Let's have a little check of these armies real quick, because I'm on level 10 now, so I've made a pretty good progress. My vendetta is still out against that guy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so he's uh, going to be a problem. We've killed a couple of these captains down here, though, so it's, it is weakened in this kind of area. Hmm... What's our quest saying we should do? We should do Shilob. Uh -huh. And the other kind of areas then are just kind of telling us to just do these uh, side missions. So I think... We should... I think just for the moment in this kind of region here, we should just do some side things. Just for the meantime, right? Because I got about ten minutes left on the episode, so I'm gonna just collect some 
things and see if I run into anything at the moment on here. And then next episode we'll run into the Shelob bit because I feel like that's going to be quite close to the next chapter and that. So we want to get a full episode into that. I don't want to, I don't want to break up the big missions with uh, episodic cuts ideally. That's why I made the episodes uh, half an hour long on this one because I know normally like with the Crash Bandicoot series I do 15 minutes a piece. But this, because it's a free roaming game, has a lot more length to it, at least as far as the kind of content goes. Like a Crash Bandicoot level on that, I could actually fucking do easily in like two, two minutes, sometimes a minute. You know, so it's not gonna, not gonna break the bank. What sort of feasts do the elves have? Stately affairs, not as raucous as orcs or men. <laughs> there we are. Nice. Way. Very good. And then I will take that. Just basically loot grabbing. Hey guys. Grabbing all the loot is a pretty good idea, because eventually there'll be a time where I'll want to get them anyway. My sword just kind of just disappeared then. I don't know if anyone saw that. It's kind of weird. It just like dived off into the corner. Yes! Nice. That worked out perfectly. New captain. Nice. So gather a bit more intelligence, get items. Everything you do in this game is valuable, which is great. So you're not wasting your time, essentially. I mean, bombing through this part is pretty easy, too. All things considered. Don't need it. They're doing a lot of audio stuff there, but I don't know if anyone's really going to be interested in that. I need to do that. Locking the fast travel points is going to be a good idea, too. The government reduced to parchment. I mean, this eagle didn't need parchment. It needed reinforcements. Mm-hmm. Nice. Banished. I think that's all of them in this region now. That's good. And there's a lot of more locations where these items are anyway, so... Send me backtracking. Might as well get them all now and then I'll be sorted then. Kind of like an Assassin's Creed when you'd uh, have to climb to the top of the buildings to kind of get, uh, like, eagle view. Re reveals all the locations. It's that kind of thing. Ideally speaking, you always want to do that first. You tend to find. Cause it, it just reveals locations to places which you just naturally walk past then. And I think that is all of them. Lovely. So where next? This is a camp which we should go. The blacksmith, the bootlick. Ugh. Now there was a guy in my last playthrough, the machine, who was a cool cat, I gotta say. But I don't think he's gonna be in this one. I won't tell you too much about the machine in case he turns up, but if he does, it's going to be the stuff of legend. Yes. More paper for your boy. Uh, I don't want to do that. Get a couple more of these poem things going. You are not tempted to read the letters? No need. I know the hearts of my people, so I know what they say. Boop, and I'll just take yours. It's not a bad idea taking all these guys, actually, because, uh, well, I mean, it, it lays the foundations for what I need to move into. A lot of times you'll just run into them randomly, which will then be as if you just kind of located them anyway. But, um, well, I feel like doing it this way is kind of more proactive, because then I know what I'm moving into. And there's a lot of interesting, funky buddies going around here. I mean, look at this guy. Bone Collector. They're all unique. I love it. Everything they do is kind of interesting, you know? 
so yeah, I, uh, I feel like I'm making pretty good progress. And th this kind of side mission stuff, I know it's, it's, uh, well, you could, if you don't like it, you, you don't have to watch it, I guess, but, I mean, for the most part, it's pretty fun. As long as I'm kind of doing stuff alongside it, too. You can't go mad, and I'm, I'm blown oh through it. God. I mean, I've collected quite a few things. In about ten minutes, I can fucking smash them. Um, considering that this game is free roam, it, um, it isn't too overwhelming. A lot of times, free roam games will just kind of overdo it. They'll just put too much in, like, like Far Cry, for instance, right? Far Cry, great game, but they emphasize too much on the maps. They need to put more kind of content, and not just content, like unique content, right? Like they'll just they'll just do an area and then they'll just fill it full of like kill quests or something, right? You know, it's it's not um, unique each time. Like this is a lot like you got to kill people and convert them and all that kind of stuff. But because the enemies are unique, like in almost every sense, that's what adds the kind of replayability to it and the interesting part, because you never know what's coming up. Just while I'm running around here now, just collecting these things, I could well get ambushed by some guy I've never met before. Like, like just, you know, fucking wielding some ungodly shit and just being like, speaking in tongues. And I'm like, who the fuck is this character? And why do I need him on my side? The Orient's knack for towers rivals the elves. That's the kind of thing. Who do you think taught them? They were but precocious students. We. Lovely. No, I just need to focus, and yes. Perfect. Not bad at all. So, uh, I've been watching one or two Jack's episodes on his, um... Oh, well, they now the wrestling games, because he's been playing the newest one, 2K18, I think it is. And that's pretty cool, actually. I like the way he... Uh, build a narrative in the game and that's always the best way to play those kind of games I think is where you kind of build your own narrative in them so oh fuck <laughs> it happens great in games like Skyrim and, and Elder Scrolls any kind of really like free roaming kind of game always good hmm one last one and then I think I'll call it an episode certainly a drake dragons take better care of their scales I'm trying to wonder what a dragon and a drake, what the difference is. I'm not too familiar with drakes. Father always said. Mm hmm. Lovely. Da, 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 da. And uh, I'll get the last one over here, I think. And I think we're good. I'll be calling it an episode then. So, in the next episodes, guys, I'm probably going to start uploading a few more um, different series here. I'm definitely going to be getting more into this one on here so that I can get many episodes out. Oh, fuck. What? I'm going to take your face and carve me name in it. That's not good. Why would he fucking. I can't end the episode like that. Ah, fuck. So, that was the guy I killed in the fucking arena and I shot him in the head. And he didn't die. I, I need to leave. I don't have the time to fucking fight this guy. We'll have to come back another time. He cheated death for a prick. This is what I'm on about. <laughs> fucking headshot the guy. Literally dead. Comes back. He doesn't look that deformed though, but I bet he's missing an eye under that helmet. I'm just gonna fucking vacate the area as fast as I can. So, um, yeah, thank you for joining me. This has been David once again at Priorvok, and I hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you do, like, comment, all that kind of cool stuff, you know, we'll know what to do. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next, guys.